Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. Dodge Ram 4.7 liter water pump replacement. You can disconnect the electrical right here. Push this tab right here. And a 13 millimeter bolt. And then the plastic clips I'll show you in a little bit underneath and we can just, uh, once you get those clips out then we can pull this out right here. Replacing the water pump. It's leaking, it's loose, probably making some noise. So we're gonna replace it. We got uh, 13 millimeter bolts around here, five or six or seven of them. I removed the fan shroud already. You pull this out of the way. Hose clamp right here. Pull it out of the way and remove this from the shroud. 13 millimeter bolt here. 13 millimeter bolt over here. And there's uh, three pins pushed in at the bottom of it. This one underneath and uh, pulled them out of the shroud. Maybe you'll have yours, maybe you won't. And then the fan comes off. You do need kind of special tools. Here's mine. A couple pins. And uh, I think it's a 36 millimeter uh, wrench on the end. Got some holes. And uh, need to hold it. And then here's the fan. You turn that, once you break it loose, you can spin it off pretty freely. Here's the fan shroud. The slots on the side here on both sides and the bolt hole and the clip for the cooling fan assembly. There is a lower shroud piece that fits in here. Get to pop the fittings out of these holes. Same for the other side. Hooks into place. Yeah, man. Get dirty. Tom got me dirty. Yep. Yeah. My fault. That? My fault. Your fault? Of course. Yeah, you know, all the hoses on the bed. Back for you back there, sir. Oh, shoot. Pull up with a 15 millimeter wrench. Probably want to replace your serpentine belt. It'll make noise when it gets coolant on it and won't, maybe, usually they don't quiet down. <clears throat> I'll take this. Uh, Idler pulley off, also 15 millimeter. Sorry. I'll take this off here, 15 millimeter. So we can get to the bolt right back there. It's pretty simple. Then we're just going to be taking off the 13 millimeter bolts for the water pump.
There will be some short ones and some long ones, of course. There you go. It's a rubber o-ring type gasket on there, so we'll try pull it uh, forward a little bit. I did not drain the coolant. I just uh, I got a bucket underneath. This is aluminum, but you can use a little light sandpaper maybe and clean this up a little bit. It really shouldn't be too bad because it's just a rubber gasket. I'm going to use a little whiz wheel brush. I bought a new camera, but the flash does not want to seem to come on oh, yeah. when I'm shooting video, so it's pretty worthless. So I'll probably bring it back. You think about getting a GoPro to square it on your head? Well, I was looking at Costco, I was looking at them, <laughs> actually. Not to put on my head, necessarily, but yeah. They even, I've seen at Bymart, they have like uh, glasses that you can wear. Uh -huh. But they're not high definition, and they're 720p. I would like to at least do high definition. We've got our new gasket, new water pump. Seems to have little uh, notches for you to make sure it goes on one way, the right way, and stays in place. So we'll just push this in place. pretty good. I'm sure it'll mash in the rest of the way when we uh, bolt it in place. It looks like maybe there was a little sealant or something or maybe it's just uh, RTV from the timing cover but I'm going to put a little uh, white thread sealer on each of the long bolts. Alright, we'll tighten those down. I'll give you the torque specs. Reverse procedure to install. Tighten the bolts. Put your pulley back on. You'll probably drop your cooling fan. Uh, shroud. And back into place. And then you can put your cooling fan in there. Weasel it in there. and uh, put your bolts in 
after you've got, and put your bolts in probably, 13 millimeter bolts. Go down there and connect your little push pins down below that we showed before. Tighten the bolts, pulley, put the belt on. All right, torque spec is 18 foot pounds. I do want you to go across. Go across when you're tightening the bolts, don't go around in a circle. That's really it. 18 foot pounds. Don't have a torque spec on the idler pulley there, but I'm sure 22, 26 is going to be fine. Uh, snug it up, and then we'll uh, put the belt on. Wash it down with some water, maybe get rid of the coolant and put the belt on. Let's check out this action here. Just like that. Bye. They were out to come check on you to see how you were doing, but I think they just used that as a way to get out of the office where I was at. Oh, <laughs> all that. Shoot the lad. Oh, yeah. Just snug that up. See, the, I didn't go crazy on it. Most people go probably overboard out there in the backyard trying to tighten that thing up, but if you have the right tools, it doesn't need to be crazy. So you saw it fits in there, tighten it up. We'll put our bolts in here, clip that in there, 13 millimeter bolt, same as the other side. You see it slides in the slots here. So, pretty, not bad. Tighten that bolt. Maybe 12 to 16 foot pounds is a guess. We'll tighten those up and we'll go below and snap on that uh, lower clip I was talking to you about. It fits in here. And snap those three uh, plastic push pins down there as well. Here we are underneath. Push pins. I don't think I can really film too much here, but I'll show you when it's all done what it looks like. So that's got something inside that hole. Yeah, yeah. So that's 
pretty much what it looks like when it's installed. You'll be down here looking at it. This is down below. The radiator petcock if you do want to use it. Looks like it's got a square screw device on it. Maybe a 16 or 17 millimeter maybe. So we do have our new belt on here. There's this plug on here that they want you to take out for bleeding and you're adding coolant, but I have not had any luck on it. Maybe other people in videos have had luck. Uh, I don't know, 8 or 10 millimeter Allen head, but I haven't. My suggestion is to cover up this belt area here with some rags or plastic. Add coolant right in the hose until it comes maybe out of here and or over here. Just keep pouring it in and then once it is filled up then I would put the hose on and you'll probably be able to just top it off right here and I'm pretty sure you'll be good then. <clears throat> so that's my two cents on that filling process for you. If you do reuse the spring clamp, try and make sure it gets back in its uh, position. You'll notice the pretty definite marks on the hose. So put it back in those spots. I've seen them leak or replace the clamp for sure. I've seen them leak if you don't have them in the right spot. And that's maybe an indication that the spring is not as springy as it used to be. But get it in the same spot, should be fine. So we'll add whatever coolant came out. We had Mopar coolant come out, so it puts them in, and I will let you know how much goes in so you know when you're going to be close to the right amount. Just pour a nice 50 50 mix right in here. Water pump replacement on the 3.7 liter Dodge pickup. 3.7 liter water pump replacement. So we're coolant one, all right, one, two, three, four, five. I'd say about a gallon and a half of coolant is what you'll need. Here's the overflow tool, you want to check that. It has a dipstick like device here. You can wipe it clean. I don't know if you can see in there. Oh, you can kind of see in there, but got a dipstick. It's got a maximum on it. If you can see it on the camera, but there's a maximum on it. Max is right there, so we got one, two, three, four, five dots to maximum. So we'll put it somewhere in here, close to the maximum when we're done. So it depends how much you have in there, somewhere between one and a half to two gallons of uh, coolant. This will be a 50 50 mix. What do you want to put in here? Half water and half Mopar coolant or whatever coolant came out. And so so we'll do this. Let's go. We'll top it off. We'll put the radiator cap on. It has two stages. One, two. So put that on, run it. And uh, depending on how cold it is outside or where you're at, run it for about 10 or 15 minutes. You should start to get some heat on the inside. Turn your heater on to hot. Turn the fan on so you can feel some air. And by 10 or 15 minutes, you should feel a temperature change. <clears throat> if not, you can rev it up to a couple thousand RPMs for a minute or so. Maybe it'll change. If it doesn't, you can shut it off and make sure the hose is squishy and maybe let it set for a little bit, then take the cap off. You don't want to burn yourself. Top this off as needed. Maybe you need to add some more coolant. So but I think this is everything you need, need to know to replace your water pump on your Dodge pickup truck, Dodge Ram. A 4.7 liter, 3.7 liter engine. You want to wipe the dipstick really dry, really clean, really dry, and then we'll stick it in the hole and then we'll see where the water goes or the coolant. If it all stays dry, of course, you need to add some. 
think the minimum is right at the very bottom there, but uh, for certainly we want to get it closer to max than minimum. Go ahead and take your time filling it too because it'll just uh, go down a little bit and you can fill it up. I've been getting air bubbles, so you just fill it, air bubbles come up, and fill it, air bubbles. So, but looks like they've actually stopped now that I decided to shoot some video. It's full.